Hi, my name is Ben from Omagodo Postad, and today we are delighted uh, by having Yatani all the way. He's a sheep farmer, breeder, all the way from like Kipia County, taking the time to come visit our farm. And we are very happy to have you here, Bona Yatani Karibu Sana. Brother. Sana brother, eh? Karibu, Karibu. I'm very happy Feel at to, home, be, man. to be at Amago yes. Doba Start. Yes. Um, um, I learned a lot in Amogo Dobas. First thing uh, I learned here from Amogo Dobas, uh, compared to my farm, uh, there is management issues and genetic issues. Uh, I usually use a local Doba, but uh, I, today I learned uh, how I can improve my farm to take to another level. But I think uh, when I will take my farm to another level, I have to learn from Amogo Doba and to buy a ram from Amogo Doba to go and improve my Doba in Laikipia. Uh, other lesson I learned from Amogo today is uh, on feet and supplements uh, on how I can improve the quality of my sheep health wise and the, the quality of meat in my farm uh, again uh, my advice to other farmers, local farmers, if you want to improve your job of sheep, please invest in good genetics. Come and visit at uh, Amago Dobat and there is a lot of lessons you can learn from them here at the farm. And if it's possible, you can improve your local Kenyan Doba to attain an original Doba which is from South Africa if it's a long journey to improve our local breed but to learn from experts like Amogo Doba it is possible we can improve slowly and we shall attain our goal to get the original Doba in Kenya. Karibu sana, karibu sana Yatani. Yeah, and just to add to what you're, you're mentioning, I mean, what is important is to start the journey. Yes. And once you start the journey, is to start a journey with as much information as you can get. I mean, I go back to the days when we started out about 11 years ago. We didn't have platforms like this where we could come learn, come share. And that's what we like doing here at Amago Doppers. That's why we always... Uh, request that any farm out there if you want to come and visit book a visiting day which is either a Tuesday or a Saturday come in if we have a slot open you'll come in and come with your question because as much as we give the information uh, of what our journey has been like we also learn from you you see we also learn from your experiences with your lamps as you had told me about today and uh, what's important is also that we need to have certain pillars that we rely on or principles when it comes to breeding so my main four principles here at amago that we look at are one the genetics two the feed three the management and four technology if you are able to marry those four then success will beckon but never discount the journey it is a journey so farmers out there I encourage you. I mean, the DOPA industry, as we know right now, is flourishing. And we thank God for that. And what is important is each and every one of us needs to, you know, put in the time to learn, put in the time to do. Because as much as you learn and you don't do, then you're not going to meet your expected objective. And I commend you. I mean, I've been talking to your attorney for a long time. He is one of my, what I call, WhatsApp buddies. We've been talking for a while, exchanging ideas. 
he would send me photos of his ship, I would send him mine, you know. And when he told me he's coming, I, I was excited. And uh, Karibu Sana, I hope it has been, you know, useful for you, you know, what we've been able to share with you today. And it's something that you can be able to take back to the farm. Because what we believe in is practical advice. You know, I would rather tell you what I have done. Because then I have a validity when it comes to that. I've tried it, it has worked. If it hasn't worked, same thing. As you can see down to my left, uh, we have uh, now it's almost one one month, one month and one week. Uh -huh. That's the uh, super napier. I'll let you know how it's doing. If it doesn't work, I'll let you know. <laughs> if it works, I'll let you know. Because for us, it's all about sharing. And it's a journey. And what's important is to learn. As much as I'm able to share with you, I also gain a lot from your visits. You know, I'm also able to gather what's happening in Laikipia from a breeding point of view, you know, and how far we are going as an industry in Kenya. So, Karibu Sana. Feel at home. And I'm uh, here to Nimbani, you subscribed to the channel. To <laughs> Endele Kabisa. And if you have any more questions, let me know. I have a question on behalf of other global farmers. Yes. Who are unable to visit uh, Amago. Yes. Uh, the challenges farmers might have. Yes. Uh, they want a, a good breed. Yes. This original breed. Yes. But uh, for a starter, the beginner, to get uh, this original ram. Yes. It's costly. Might be you have two ifs. Yes. And you want the uh, original. Yes. How do you advise the beginner to start the journey of Dover family? Uh, I'll answer the question in a very broad way. Because yeah. a very broad question also is a beginner, just as by the name suggests, is a beginner. Yeah. The most important thing is to start. And I think it's not only a it's only to start with those foundations I mentioned earlier. One, you need to build on your genetics. So you may not have the money to buy a South African ram currently. Yeah? Because life is about progression. Yeah? So you don't have money to buy right now. But you can work with what you have. Meaning, you can come up as partnerships with other farmers, like-minded farmers. And what you do is you buy a ram. You can either buy a ram. So, for example, you, Yatani, with five other guys, farmers in Laikipia, can chip in and bring in one ram. Okay? That's one way to go about it. And you find a way to work around sharing the ram. And you improve your use, your local use, by using that ram. Yeah? The other way to do it is to actually purchase, and that's something we are doing with farmers right now, is we offer to you pregnant ewes bred to these T5 uh, South African imported rams. These are the best of the best you can get from a quality perspective. So why are we doing that? Because we want to offer the farmers a better foundation, meaning we are going to pair that pregnant ewe that has been bred to this ram and we will give you an F2 ram to go with it. Because that's a Kenyan local ewe bred to the South Africa T5 ram. And once the, the lambs are born, yeah, they will be better than the mother. That's a guarantee. And what we are trying to do is merge both worlds. Meaning from the South Africa boys, we are going to get weight gain and growth rate. From the ladies, the girls, the ewes, we are going to get what we call resistance and hardiness. Yeah? From them being local and acclimatized to our climate. And that forms a very good foundation for you. As you build up both on your genetics and also as you build up on your, on your what we refer to as competence. Because remember, I would never advise a farmer to, just because you have the money, to spend it on a ram like this if you don't have an ecosystem built behind it meaning you don't have the competence to take care 
you don't have the management experience, you don't have the feeds. Because it also takes a bit of work to feed this boy, the right feed. For them to look like this during drought and now, it requires a bit of effort and understanding. So my recommendation to a beginner is, please start, but start with the end in mind. Meaning, you're starting with where you are. If you're able to pull funds together, please pull funds together. Get a boy like that. Please come here for training or go for training. Uh, where training is offered, I would urge you to come here. We'll train you about disease detection, how to manage, how to feed, yeah, how to take care of lambs, so that and just general handling of the ship, so that when you go back to your farm, at least you have the competencies as you start. And here we look more into relationships. You see, we don't look at transactions; it's more of a relationship. That's our main concern, yeah. And that's why we started the channel to share information freely. Yeah, let people know, or other fellow farmers, we share with them our experiences as they share uh, what they have learned with us. And that's where we're able to grow.